uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say thank you to GRMPP for organizing this uh, this very important event and uh, inviting me to the, the board uh, for this opportunity. Uh, GRMPP is uh, the, the, the first international uh, partner for Cambridge Institute and the first uh, the first uh, international organization uh, who gave us uh, the, the the fund for research in Chinstay. It, it is the one, uh, the first one, uh, uh, from from whom we receive our research funding. Uh, the title of my presentation, uh, the title of my presentation, the faculty majority itself implied that in Chinstay, the majority of people, especially young people and women are excluded from the political sphere and political life. Uh, uh, before I go into the presentation, yeah, as I mentioned about the, the, the relationship between Cambridge and GRMPP, as GRMPP being our first international partner and an uh, international platform for Cambridge Institute, we started our research on political representation and participation in Chin State with GR, GRNPP funding in 2018, and it was completed in 2019. And we, Cambridge uh, Institute is, is, uh, has a, a very high commitment to continue to work on Chin State Parliament and political in the same area in Chin State for the, the coming years, including this year. In Chin State, uh, 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 in, uh, in this presentation, uh, uh, I will bring three, the three key issues. Uh, the first one is uh, the constitution, how it is limit, it limit uh, the participation of young people, uh, young people in the politics. And the second one is how the political party system reinforces the exclusion of young people and women in Chin State, and then the social norms and cultural practices, and then culture representation in Chin State. The, the presentation will wholly focus on Chin State. Uh, in the 2008 constitution, we see a lot of age restriction. For instance, if we want to become a P2 Luto or state Luto member, we have to reach at least the age of 525. And if we want to be uh, a Muta Luto MP, we have to reach at least 30 at uh, the years of 30. So this has, uh, from the foundation, limit the opportunity for young people to be able to participate and play the key role in politics in Chin State and as well as in Myanmar. Uh, uh, this was uh, the, the, the fact that uh, the participation of young people is limited by the constitution and the law is often reinforced by political party structure. I would like to take uh, Chin National League for Democracy, CNLD, as an example. This is the, the, the strongest, uh, the most powerful ethnic minority party in Chin State. Mm. Uh, CNLD, CNLD, uh, CNLD doesn't have a proper membership system and then the proper members, uh, the fact that it doesn't have the proper membership system means that young people cannot play the main, uh, the, cannot play a political role within the party, nor neither have a political decision-making power because the, the EC, the executive committee, is composed by all people and uh, whom of them, the majority of them are, uh, are men as well. So uh, this limitation excluded uh, from the system, the structure that uh, this restrict young people and women to be able to have a say within the party system. This means that in the, even in the near future, young people and women uh, will have a less chance, opportunity to be able to run in the election and to be able to have a say in uh, the party, within the party. So uh, if we go to the social norms, yeah, in Chinsta, uh, to be honest, I don't have much thing to say uh, the social norm in the in this uh, this term, but uh, in Chinsta, uh, in Chinsta, 
uh, the uh, older people, elder people are are, are destined to be uh, more uh, more respect uh, more respected, and they are given priority over young people. So this has allowed older people to play uh, to have uh, much more say in political sphere compared to young people, and uh, women are also restrict their rule to the household life. So that it is often assumed that women should participate in the politics. Uh, uh, so it is the assumption and the, the norm, the society, the societal value within Chin states. So if we see as uh, the, the, the data from 2015 election and 2020 election, we'll see how women and young people are excluded in the parliamentary or the politics. Uh, uh, three out of the 39 MPs in 2015 and 2020 parliamentary period are women. So this is a, a very less in, uh, compared to uh, the, the, the number of uh, men MPs. In Chin State, there was no single women MP at Chin State Parliament for this period. In the 2015 general election, we, uh, uh, we see 11% uh, uh, of women running for elect, uh, election. And in 2020, it was reduced, uh, decreased by 2%. So rather than a progress, we are seeing uh, 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 a decrease in the number of women in electoral uh, candidates and ele election. Uh, uh, many political parties, including the Chin National League for Democracy, promised to include more young people, uh, to invite more young people in the, uh, the election, the coming election, 2020 election. But the result, uh, we have seen the results. In 2015, only 2%, uh, only 2%, that is uh, five people out of the total 201 candidates are, are men. Uh, sorry, young people below the age of 36. And uh, in, in 2000, 2020, the coming election, only 19 candidates out of 211 candidates in Chin State are young people below the age of 30, 36. So we, uh, although we see very small progress, uh, uh, this is a, a, a still very low number of young people in the, the politics. So, uh, the fact that the executive committee of uh, National Chinese League for Democracy, for instance, are, um, uh, are all people, all many all people mean that the young people cannot have more opportunity within the, the party politics. So um, the election candidate, in fact, are elected by the political party executive committee member only. Many of the young people identify themselves in Chin State as a member or a supporter of Chin Nationalists for Democracy, but they don't have a say. They cannot, uh, they cannot vote for an uh, electoral candidate in the primary party election. Uh, uh, the last point, uh, cultural representation. Uh, I think uh, uh, who is being represented, uh, represented or participated in the politics is important, just like uh, what? Uh, what or whose is uh, represented as well. For instance, uh, it can be a cultural element or a history. This is a, a new Chin State Parliament building. So uh, the language is in Burmese and in English. But in the top, we see a home view, a board, a Chin Nation board. So this is a progress for the Chin State Parliament in terms of cultural or symbolic representation. Uh, the, this Chin State Parliament building, new building is open in, in February 20, 2019. Uh, this is at the entrance point of Chin State Parliament, new building. So here we see uh, a rubber statue wearing 
uh, different Qing traditional dresses. So this is a uh, this song like uh, uh, much more. This uh, signify or imply, uh, uh, imply that Qing State Parliament are embracing uh, Qing culture and history in term uh, and making more visible within the Parliament. And this also is a very important yeah, uh, picture in the Parliament building. This is a uh, hardship rig lake. It is located uh, between. Uh, located near the border with Chin State, at the border with India. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is uh, one of a very famous tourist destination, and it has a very important history for Chin people. And then next one, if we have a closer look here, here we see uh, a pattern. This pattern look, uh, if it, this is not a Chin pattern, Still, it looks uh, very similar to Qin dress pattern, if we look here. So this we can say is Qin pattern. So this, this is the pillar of the state parliament. So this also seen, uh, uh, indicate that there's a progress in terms of representativeness in Qin state parliament building. Here is Cambridge student, democracy study students, and Qin uh, State Hoto Deputy Director taking a picture of the rule play of the parliament. And here uh, the pattern, here is. This pattern, however, doesn't seem to be related to Qin State or Qin people. Uh, this pattern looks like more Burmese than Qin elements. So there are other patterns uh, similar to this around the parliament building, within the parliament building. But if we look at the corner right and the corner left, we also see Qin patterns. So there is a still a progress in terms of visual representation in the Qin, build, the Qin state parliament building. Uh, so uh, uh, I hope uh, in terms of the exclusion of minority ethnic group, uh, young people and women will continue to be deeply rooted in our society as long as the law and the system, like political party system, uh, that impulses for the political exclusion or a change. And then uh, I personally really hope that there will be more representative uh, 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 cultural element representativeness in the Chin State Parliament in the coming, uh, the coming, uh, the coming parliamentary period as well. Uh, thank you so much.